Hey Sagittarius, it's Dana. Deep Thoughts with Dana. How the heck are you? I am in the Wind River Reservation in Wyoming. Riverdale, Wyoming? Riverton? Riverton, Wyoming, I think it is. Anyway, <clears throat> the, um, the Wind River Indian Reservation, and it is absolutely amazingly beautiful. I hope the noise isn't too loud because there are people boating and um, jet skiing behind me. Apparently, this is a popular place for the locals to come and do their stuff. So we're just going to try to blend in as much as we possibly can. So this is your reading, Sagittarius. I'm not going to put a time or a date on this reading um, because it just is what it is, right? I cannot uh, put the camera in camera so you can see the cards up here because I'm outside and I haven't quite figured out how to do that yet. And uh, this is the new thing, right? I have uh, had a change of, of life and um, I am traveling the country for the next year. So this will be the new normal for us. We will have cool backgrounds in amazing places all over the United States that we will do our tarot card readings in. So this is your reading. <clears throat> Let's see what the cards have to say for you, Saggy, okay? Let's see what the cards have to say. So spirit, source, universal energy. I have the collective of Sagittarius with me and Sagittarius wants to know what you know. What do you know, spirit? And what does Sag need to know? What does Sagittarius need to know? What are the most important messages? What's coming towards the collective of Sagittarius? What is uh, What does Sagittarius have to look forward to? What do they need to look out for? And how do they best navigate the situation? Spirit, as always, please use me as a clean and clear vessel by which to not only interpret your messages, but to explain them as well. Spirit, I am going to shuffle these cards three more times. I'll cut three times and I will begin to pull off the top. If you can please arrange yourself in the way that you need to be seen to bring the messages to Sagittarius that they need to know. All right, Saggy. So the way it works is that I shuffle, I pray, I lay out at least 15 cards. We talk about them as I clarify them. Um, It'll be me mumbling around as I clarify. I'll leave a timestamp. We will go up to the top and we will read the reading fluidly all the way through. If you don't like the channeling part of it, feel free just to skip straight forward to the reading, okay? Let's cut them and see what the heck is up for Sag. Let's go one, two, and three. Two and three. Bottom of the deck, five of wands in reverse. This is either the avoidance of responsibility or an increased focus on goals. Knight of Swords, first card out, Knight of Swords. This is taking some kind of action, possibly communication. The Five of Pentacles in reverse. This is either spiritual poverty or coming out of financial poverty. The Emperor, we'll see who or what that is. The Seven of Cups, options, choices, and decisions. The King of Cups in reverse. This is about emotional volatility, maybe emotional manipulation. Page of Wands in reverse, delays, frustration, and inability to manifest. Ooh, the devil. This is an attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth. Uh, it could be some kind of toxicity. This is the alternative lover's card, mind you. Ooh, death in the center of your reading. Wow. An ending, a change, a transformation. The magician, look at you, Sag, manifesting stuff. To the three of wands in reverse, obstacles to the long-term goals, lack of foresight. Three of swords in reverse, forgiveness, optimism. The nine of cups, emotional fulfillment. The world, you have so many majors here. Wow, the world, an end of one cycle, the beginning of a new cycle. The Queen of Swords, Truth, Decisions, Communication. The Seven of Swords in Reverse, Release, Breaking Free. The King of Swords, More Truth. We have the Queen of Swords, the King of Swords, Interesting. Um, decisions, Possibly Communication between another you and another person. The Two of Pentacles, Balance, Prioritization, 
juggling, the Ten of Swords, endings, betrayal, deception, Nine of Pentacles in reverse, financial setbacks or um, overinvestment of time and effort, Ace of Cups in reverse, repressing emotions, Ten of Wands in reverse, overwhelmed, the Page of Cups, some kind of creation, peace offering, the Two of Cups in reverse, an imbalance in a relationship, Queen of Wands in reverse, possibly your needs not being met, the Hangman in reverse, resistance, delays, and stalling, to the Six of Swords, Seven of Wands in reverse, giving up, Page of Swords, thought patterns, Eight of Swords change. Six of Swords, Six of Wands in reverse, talking about victory. Uh, I'm sorry, a fall from grace, a state of disrepute, a lack of success. Two of Swords at a crossroads. Queen of Cups, emotional insecurity to the Ten of Cups. The High Priestess in reverse. Goodness gracious, Sagi, what is going on? High Priestess in reverse, disconnected with your intuition or a secret to the four of wands all right i see what's happening here i see what's happening here all right okay all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. let's clarify all of this okay let's just work this out all right sag i think i feel what's happening here but i am going to work through it all the way so the knight of swords right taking some kind of inspired action. So you want to take some kind of action to the five of pentacles in reverse, but that's the blockage. Um, let me just see three of wands in reverse. Remember, I'm going to go through, I'm going to clarify this and then I will um, start from the top and come back down again. Okay. I think for my next reading, I'm going to get my little light and put it here. I'm a little dark, huh? Background's pretty though. Okay. I'll get better and better at this whole new setup thing. All right, so the Knight of Swords taking some action, the Three of Wands in reverse. This is a lack of foresight, um, obstacles to the long-term goals. Long-term goals being the Nine of Cups, emotional fulfillment. In a state of spiritual poverty, I see, I see, spiritual poverty to the Emperor. I believe this emperor is somebody who holds control over your life. Let's see who this is. Who is this emperor right here, spirit? Who is this emperor right here? Who is this emperor? What is this emperor about right here? What is this emperor about? What is the emperor about? What is this about? Whoa, there we go. <laughs> Hold on. Got a little pile of ants down there and the cards fell on top of them and they're all like ah <laughs> funny all right the emperor six of cups in reverse six of swords and the seven of wands in reverse understood this person does have control over your life some kind of control tell me about the the five of pentacles in reverse what is this what is this five of pentacles in reverse Apathy, the Queen of Wands, Nine of Pentacles in reverse. All right, got it, got it. The Seven of Cups, options, choices, decisions, illusion, fantasy, to the Ace of Wands, wanting to start some kind of new, but in a state of emotional volatility with the King of Cups. What is this about? What is the emotional volatility? Emotional volatility because you're frustrated with the Page of Wands in reverse. Understood. The devil. Who is this devil? Why the devil? Devil to the High Priestess. Oh, this devil is the Emperor. I see. To the King of Swords. The Law. To the Six of Wands in reverse. Okay. Death in the center of the reading. An ending, a change, a transformation. To the Four of Pentacles and strength. Got it. The Magician manifesting. Wanting to make.
Oh, don't blow my cards, wind. Please don't blow my cards. The magician manifesting. Tell me what this is about. What is this about? The Hierophant, the Knight of Wands, and the Ten of Pentacles. Ah! All right, all right, all right, all right. The world. Tell me about the world right here, please. No, no, no. Don't blow. Don't blow. Don't blow. Shh, go away. Maybe if I pull this door shut just a little bit, it will help block some wind. Okay. The world. Breaking free. Nine of Cups. Queen of Swords. What's the Queen of Swords? That's your decision to accept, I think. It is your decision to accept. To the Seven of Swords in reverse. Um, mental challenges. Breaking free. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. What's the connection between the Queen of Swords, the Seven of Swords in reverse, and the King of Swords? What is this about? What is this about? Queen of Cups, King of Wands in reverse, the Knight of Wands in reverse, Two of Swords in reverse. To the Eight of Swords in reverse. Yeah, that's the whole acceptance thing right there. So the Queen of Swords, King of Swords is looking away. The Queen of Cups to the Queen of Swords understands that the King of Wands in reverse can't do what needs to be done. Two of Swords in reverse. This is because he refuses to see to the Eight of Swords in reverse new perspective to the king of swords okay all right i think i can do this um without clarifying this other pile over here but we'll clarify as we get there okay all right sag time stamp up to the top this has been almost 13 minutes of of shuffling and clarifying so let's start from the top we'll read it all the way through okay all the way through all right so the Knight of Swords, Sag, you want to take some kind of inspired action. You do. You want to take inspired action to leave something. See, this guy is actually this way. He's leaving this reading, right? He's going away. You want to take some inspired action to leave something, right? The Three of Wands comes in and talks about obstacles to your long-term goals to the Nine of Cups. What does this mean? It means that you want to leave something behind, but you know if you do, there will be some kind of lack of fulfillment in your life, okay? Some kind of lack of fulfillment. Um, spiritual poverty. Um, this is also about coming out of financial poverty. So what I think is happening here is that there is some kind of situation going on that you would like to leave, but if you did, you're going to be broke or there's going to be some kind of financial consequence. So your trade-off here in the very beginning of this reading is do I give up my nine of cups do i give up wishes fulfilled comfort happiness and satisfaction do i exchange that for spiritual poverty in order to be financially stable that's what i'm picking up here okay so the question is do i leave if i leave it's obstacles to my long-term goals leaving would make me happy but then i'd be broke as fuck and what am i going to do okay so you're exchanging your happiness for spiritual poverty you're exchanging your freedom for financial gain. Four of Cups in reverse. This is just being apathetic. It's giving up, right? It's just like, oh. to the Queen of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Um, financial setbacks. So what this is telling me is that you would rather stay right where you are and endure the emotional endure the spiritual poverty than to endure financial poverty that's what this is telling me the emperor this is 
the controller right here. Somehow, some way, this could be a job, this could be a love relationship, this could be a marriage. It, it's any situation where somebody holds the gold. He who holds the gold makes the rules. Don't ever forget that, right? And some people are very content, very content to let somebody else call the shots. And that's okay, right? That's, that's perfectly okay. But in this reading, you are not content. But this emperor owns the gold, and this emperor calls the shots right here, okay? To the six of cups in reverse, and you are stuck in the past, you are stuck in this situation, and it's unrealistic for you to move away from he who holds the gold. Six of swords, a re regretful but necessary transition to the seven of wands in reverse. You're giving up on that. You're giving up on leaving this situation because this emperor um, provides your needs, meets your needs, your financial needs. The seven of cups, options, choices, decisions to the king of cups in reverse. Poppy, come here. No, Poppy, come here. Poppy, come here. Sorry, my dog has a tendency to wander and somebody thought that my spot was open and then they saw me sitting here so they kept driving. Okay, the Seven of Cups, options, choices, and decisions to the Ace of Wands, wanting to manifest an inspired, passionate new beginning, but you're, you're choosing to not do that because of the financial situation. To the King of Cups in reverse, it causes a lot of emotional volatility for you. Maybe even a lot of emotional volatility to this emperor right here. Frustrations and delays with the Page of Wands in reverse. Frustrations and delays to the devil. This devil is representing this emperor. It's how you see the emperor and it also represents your hopelessness in the situation okay it represents you being chained to the throne of the devil okay you being ch chained to the throne of the devil and that's how you feel you feel like you are chained to the foot of this emperor right here the high priestess the high priestess to the king of swords to the six of wands in reverse what this is saying to me is um, in the high priestess energy pisces the card of pisces this devil might be a pisces might be a capricorn could be freaking i don't know it could be anybody it doesn't matter right but the devil chained to the throne of the devil the high priestess this is your subconscious mind and your intuition and on the inside of you this is telling me that you're afraid you are afraid of what would happen to you if you loosed yourself from the foot of this devil and you and you're and you're deciding within yourself that this is the best place for you to be the king of swords this is your decision right this is your decision this is what you're executing you want to leave but you're not going to leave because you're afraid of the financial repercussions to the six of wands in reverse and you are just going to accept failure you're going to accept a lack of success fall from grace state of disrepute you're just going to accept hold on a second let me pause this okay my dog was getting away all right, so you are accepting um, failure, right? You're accepting failure. Death in the center of your reading talks about an ending, a change, a transformation. What you would really like is a transformation of this commitment. You would like something to change in this situation that would make you not want to leave the situation, right? to the four of pentacles um, but because that's not happening you're just going to sit tight the way that you are you wish something would change but you have no choice you feel like you have no choice in the situation so you are just going to remain to strength remain in a state of strength hoping that something will change and enduring while it doesn't the magician this is about you trying to manifest. Manifest, manifest, manifest. What is it that you want to manifest? Well, you want to manifest, stay right here. You stay. You want to manifest, hold on, good boy. 
you want to manifest some kind uh, something in your commitment right something in your commitment because with the nine of wands you are feeling um, very much worn out worn out in your commitment in this situation just worn out right resilience persistence hanging in there right to the ten of pentacles because you have foundation structure and security in this situation but what you want to manifest what you'd like to manifest is a better relationship with this emperor you would you would like to manifest a better relationship with this emperor the three of wands in reverse this is obstacles to the long-term goals <laughs> You're just accepting. Hence, look, the Three of Swords in reverse. This is acceptance. You are simply accepting that, one, one you can't change the situation. Two, if you leave, you will be in financial despair. Um, three, that all you can do is endure. And that's what you're accepting with the Three of Swords. The world and ending a change and a completion to the life cycle that you're in that's what you want to the nine of cups nothing more than just you just want emotional satisfaction which you're not getting which is why you want to leave but you can't because of money right or security of some sort right the seven of swords in reverse this is about mental challenges to the page of cups mental challenges about how to manifest a difference in your life and in your relationship i think you have challenges with communication with this person this emperor this devil i think you have challenges when it comes to communication and in your heart of hearts you just want this cycle to end you just want the cycle to end and you want different in your life I'm losing my cards no the Queen of Swords Queen of Swords to the mental challenges to the King of Swords okay what is this this is you having communication problems with this other person okay you having communication problems with this other person what are you trying to communicate the Queen of Cups you're trying to you would like to have a more loving relationship with this person the King of Wands in reverse this person does not meet your needs this person is self-centered egocentric all about themselves um, again he who holds the gold makes the rules right he who makes the gold makes the rules and this person I feel does not give a shit about what you want I feel like this person's attitude is look I bring in the money I pay for your way of life I pay for you so you just suck it up and you take whatever it is that I give and I don't care leave if you want to leave because they know you can't leave leave if you want to leave I don't give a shit but I'm gonna do what I want to do and I really honestly don't give a shit what you think or feel about it that's this king of wands in reverse right to the knight of wands in reverse no inspired action frustration frustrates you because like I said what you want is more emotion in the relationship this is also a card of Pisces by the way more emotion in a relationship with this person the two of swords in reverse this is you giving up this is you deciding she's got the blindfold on right it's like uh, all right well whatever this is also I think this person not caring right not caring because they're self-absorbed to the eight and of, of swords in reverse this is having a new perspective this person no matter how much talking you do no matter how much negotiating you do no matter how much begging pleading um, they're just stuck and stubborn in their ways they're stuck and stubborn in their ways 
and it frustrates the hell out of you because you 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 would like to have a more equal giving receiving loving relationship and this person's just like Psst, if you don't like it the way I give it go get it someplace else yeah damn Sag right the two of pentacles balance and prioritization that's all you want right you just want to balance out this whole situation and you would like to be a priority to the ten of swords betrayal pain endings <laughs> yeah <laughs> right right you would like to prioritize an ending with this person is what you'd really like to do you'd really like to prioritize an ending with this person nine of pentacles in reverse but it would create a financial setback it would create a financial setback and you can't do it ace of cups in reverse um repressed emotions right you just suck it all down you just push it all down and go through the motions of every day the ten of wands in reverse overwhelming overwhelming repressed emotions the page of cups right trying to connect with this person trying to to start anything more than what you have with this person results in the two of cups in reverse an imbalance an imbalance in the relationship I think there's an imbalance in this person, but there's an imbalance in the relationship for sure. The two of wands in reverse, your needs are not being met. It's the shrinking violet syndrome, right? You have a big green plant and you put it in the window and you forget to water it and it shrivels up and goes away. That's what the queen of wands in reverse is. Yeah, the other side is a tantrum, a hysterical person, but the, the flip side of the queen of wands in reverse is the shrinking violet syndrome and your needs are not being met at all right the hangman in reverse resistance you are resisting the six of swords getting out of this situation the seven of wands in reverse because the thought of being out on your own is just totally overwhelming right the page of swords formulating a thought pattern the eight of swords about how to change your situation because there's a fall from grace in a state of disrepute. I think you deep down inside hate this person, honestly. I do. I think you deep down inside can't stand this person. To the two of swords. Um, ignoring. This is just ignoring. This is ignoring the issue. What choice do you have? The queen of cups in reverse. Tons of emotional secure, insecurity. Um the loss of feelings to the ten of cups this is a card about about harmony and a good relationship right see the queen of cups in reverse to the ten of cups they don't go together right right and you are emotionally devoid and you want so bad the ten of cups in your life you want peace and harmony and a good relationship the high priestess in reverse this is ignoring your intuition. Ignoring your intuition. Your intuition is telling you that you need to get out of this situation. But your justification of staying in the situation is ignoring your intuition. Do you understand that? To the Four of Wands, right? Um, structure, foundation, stability. That's what you have right now. To the ace of wands in reverse that's why there is a lack of motivation to do anything else even though you'd like to you don't because you have structure foundation and stability in your situation right now and if you leave look the hierophant in reverse if you shake loose this commitment there is financial despair there's financial despair. This is also about reevaluating the way that you believe about this commitment. Four of Swords, contemplating in a defensive posture what your next move is going to be. To the lovers, in a love relationship with the King of Wands in reverse again, with somebody who is egocentric, self centered, and a control freak. And that's what this reading says. That is your your whole thing there, Sag. Your whole thing is trying to decide how it is you're going to carry on with the rest of your life 
with an egomaniac, a control freak, a narcissistic personality disorder. What else? Man or woman, don't matter. Don't matter. What's going on here, spirit? What else? Yep, look. You need to be strong as you make a plan to escape. Be strong as you make a plan to escape. Who? The King of Wands in reverse. Be strong as you make a plan to escape from the King of Wands in reverse. The Eight of Pentacles. Engaging in building something, right? Um, this is you pretending to go about the motions, go about the daily while you plan and escape. The Four of Cups in reverse. This is apathy, right? Just going through the motions. Nine of Cups in reverse. This is about selfishness, greed, materialism. It's about emotional dissatisfaction too, but this is about you making a plan. The Nine of Cups in reverse, right? The Tower in reverse. This is a personal transformation and averting disaster for you. So you are making a plan to exit the situation. But in the meantime, you're just going to go along with teamwork and collaboration as usual, right? As usual to the high priestess while you go inside and follow your intuition and make a plan to get out of this situation. The queen of swords in reverse. This is somebody who is emotionless, right? Emotionless and empty to the ten of wands, enduring the burden to the Eight of Cups until they can abandon the situation. To the Alchemist in reverse. This is untapped potential. This is the, the potential that you see for your life. To the Devil in reverse. Releasing an attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth. Detaching. To the Eight of Swords in reverse. New perspectives. New perspectives to the Queen of Wands in reverse about your needs. The hangman, right? This is planning, pausing, waiting, processing, coming out on the other side with a new perspective to the Ace of Pentacles to where you can manifest your way out. This is the manifestation of a brand new financial opportunity. So that's what these cards are saying is that you are... Um, you want to leave, but you can't leave. You can't leave because if you leave, you will be in a state of financial despair. You are with somebody that is a control freak, but they pay your bills. You're with somebody that's a control freak, but they pay your bills. And um, you've tried to talk to this person about how to make things better between you. So you can just, you know, keep on keeping on. But this person won't, won't talk. They won't talk. They won't change. They are who they are. And if you don't like it, you can hit the road. And they tell you that because they know you can't, right? This is a quite a fucked up individual that you're dealing with right here, Sagittarius. And, um, and uh, you are going to, you have decided, Poppy, come here. Come here. Come. You have decided that you are just going to buy your time and you're going to make a plan and um, you're going to figure out how you can pay your own way and you're going to get the hell out of Dodge. That's what this reading is. I do hope that helped you. This could be happening for you now. This could be um, coming up in your future. It could be something that you've already gone through. But nevertheless, um, Sag, I don't know if this is a prediction or a premonition or if this is a forecast of some sort. But um, these cards tell me that you are going to get yourself out of this situation and you're just going to keep your head low, go through the motions until you figure out what it is that you need to do. And let me tell you, Sag, I've been there and done that and it ain't no fun it ain't no fun I'll never let anybody ever 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 pay my way my first husband right um, stayed home with the kids didn't have a job he had the job he paid for everything and he took total advantage of that and I will never ever ever and have not since then um, let anybody pay my way because when you let somebody pay your way he who makes the gold makes the rules remember that namaste